Hello and welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title, today's video is about creating thumbnails on YouTube. Hello friends, my name is Michelle Estrada and welcome to my channel where I peel back the curtain and take you behind the scenes to show you what it's like to have a career as a web designer after being a stay-at-home mom to my four kids for over 17 years. The journey hasn't always been easy, growing pains are not always fun, but I've learned so much along the way and my hope is that through my channel I can share with you the experiences I've had and encourage you and inspire you that if I can do it, you can do it too. Now specifically, we today are gonna to be talking about your niche, which is real estate. So I wanna keep it specific to your niche because the thumbnails that you create are not necessarily gonna be the same as the thumbnails that I would create. However, they are gonna have some similarities. So I've been doing some research and looking at some of the most successful YouTube thumbnails in your niche. So I put in Homes for Sale Tampa, Florida. And I filtered right here by, I wanted to have this month and view count. So I wanted to see like which videos were the most recent with the most views. So what I found was this home, this particular video right here has 35,000 views. This one has 2.4,000, 2.8,000, 2 2.3. So they've got, you know, they've got a lot of views. Um, one thing that I will say that stuck out to me by this person right here, Melanie Loves Tampa Bay, her videos are all branded a certain way. Her picture is on the front of the, of the thumbnail. Um, South Tampa is part of her thumbnail here. New Homes is here. And it looks like she is probably doing some of the talking as well. So let's take a look. Let's click on this video and see what she's doing here. It seems like so many of you out there are looking for new construction in the Tampa area. There are a lot of options out there, but there is one stretch of road that I feel like I show buyers more than others. Stay tuned and I'll tell you where. Hey everybody, Melanie Atkinson here, Realtor with Smith & Associates in beautiful Tampa Bay, Florida. And today I'm going to introduce you to four of my favorite new construction neighborhoods in the Tampa Bay area. I hear from a lot of you that are in that $300,000 to $500,000 price range and want new construction. So this video is for you. What you will notice when you're looking for new construction is that there are large areas where a lot of that new construction... Okay, so one thing I'm going to tell you right off the bat that she has done is she she told you right off the bat what this video is going to be about. She talked to you about the price range of people that she's talking about. She's branded right here, Melanie Atkinson, real estate agent. She's put her name here. She has mentioned for you to subscribe to her channel. And she put her Instagram handle, where did it go? Right there. Her Instagram handle she put on here as well. And looks like she's putting the name of the town. I'm trying to get it to go back to where that was. Let me just play this. This video is for you. What you will notice when you- So there's her Instagram. Is that there are large areas where a lot of that new construction seems to be. Areas like Wesley Chapel, Land Lakes. Riverview, Odessa. So why is there so much construction there? Well, the easy answer... <clears throat> so it looks like she is taking the time to film ahead of time and then she and she's using what's called B-roll where she is having the film running in the background, like the, the footage that she took running in the background while she talks over it. And that's really easy to, to do. You can edit that right from your iPhone if you need to. Um, or you can use something called iMovie. There's there's free software out there that you can use to edit, and it makes it very simple just to drag and drop. We're not today's video. We're not really going to be getting into the how to make the video part. However, that's something we could do at a later time. But today we're talking about the thumbnails that make someone click, and I personally was drawn towards her videos because if I'm scrolling through here. Hers are the ones that stood out the most. They were the most different. Most people just have like a house on the front with the address or no address at all. 
Now, if you look at this one right here, it just has a house and it has the address and he has 35,000 views. So it's possible that it's possible that he's doing a lot of promotion on his social media or maybe even maybe even paying for ads to promote this video. I don't know what he's done in the past, but it's possible that he has a pretty big following. Let's take a look at this channel and let's see how many subscribers he has. So 10.3 thousand subscribers. Let's see what he's done in the back end. And this is something I always like to do is go and see what the successful people are doing and reverse engineer it. So what is he doing? He's got some music playing in the background. He's going through, looks like with his phone, and he's just doing a tour of the house. And let's see how long is this video. It's four minutes and 42 seconds. And he's basically walking through the whole house, showing you all around. So you can feel like you're walking through the house yourself. But let's look down here too and look what he's done. He's got, check out the beautiful new Tampa home for sale in the gated community of West Meadows, located at da 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 da. And he's got the address. He's got his contact me at, and this, this is his contact page on his website. Search all homes for sale in Tampa Bay. He's got this also at his website. And then save time and money buying a home, a free PDF graphic for you. So this is like a downloadable, helpful tips that he has and where he can probably collect your email address in order to get that and then add you to his list. So let's see, I'll check, I'll click on that in just a second. Four bedrooms, den, bonus room. So he's got here all the different parts of the house, the things that would be most important to you. And then more details over here about why this house is a must see. And then view where this new house is located. He's got a link here to the Google map. Please contact me if you have any questions to view this house, da, da 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 And then he's got all his links and all his hashtags in here. So he's got New Tampa, New Tampa Realtors, New Tampa Homes for Sale, Real Estate, Tampa Homes for Sale, Realtors, and his name, Lance Moore. Now, and you can see, look, there's a lot of engagement. Yes, this video was posted in 2018, but I'm looking at, it's gotten 35,000 views. The house is probably long gone. It's probably sold, you know, long, long ago, but it's still getting views. So that's one thing you want to think about. Now let's go back over here to, to this one. I really like how she has a key here, new homes. She's got, let's see what she says about South Tampa. It makes me want to click to hear what she has to say. Which and then also remember we talked about our titles and stuff last time. South Tampa, she put a little emoji here. One of Tampa's most popular areas. Da 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 da. So you can see too that she is utilizing her. She's utilizing her title and her description Look at this. She's building it out all the way and she's got 56 comments. This video is a year old, but still 21,000 views. So let's see what she does here. Let's see if it's the right fit for you. Branding it again with her name. Hey everybody, Melanie Atkinson, Realtor with Smith & Associates in beautiful Tampa Bay, Florida. And today I'm excited to talk to you about the area of Tampa called South Tampa. So now she's going to show you B-roll of South Tampa. And then maybe she'll get into some videos of homes. I don't know. Let's let's go to her channel and let's take a look at her channel and see what she's doing. So let's go to all her videos and let's see how she's formatting her thumbnails. Because I like to go and reverse engineer the success of what other people are doing. So if you look, she has a feel to all her videos, and I'm not suggesting in any way that you go and copy and put like 
a triangle with your name at the left hand corner of all of your videos. I'm not suggesting that you do that, but it's working for her because look, all of her videos have the same thing and all of her thumbnails have bright words with the backgrounds and the big letters and her one other thing that is very predominant that I see about all of her videos is her face. In most all of her thumbnails, you can see her face. Now, if you go back to her older videos, you can see that she had a couple where she just put a house and the city, but it looks like she started using her face on a lot of these videos and now looks like pretty much all her videos have her face. So she's using her face to help brand her videos, her thumbnails. That way you know if you're clicking on this video that it's gonna be her. Now recently, let's see, looks like she took away the little triangle here that she has in the corner and she doesn't have that there, but she's trying some new things with her backgrounds. So what you have to do is kind of experiment and see what works, but Obviously, this is working because she has 12,000 subscribers and her videos consistently have a lot of views. I mean, thousands of views. Like this one has 41,000 views from three months ago, talking about mortgage rates. So if you include on your YouTube channel more than just a home tour here and there of houses that you have for sale and you talk about other things, within real estate to help promote your channel in between the home showings that you have. I mean, that's probably going to help your channel a lot to grow. She's got moving to Florida in 2020, what you need to know, home selling makeover, staging strategy, how to sell your home while buying another house, moving to Tampa, what it's really like, Now let's go back to that other channel that I saw. Okay, look, you can see another common strategy we have going on here. He has his picture. He has the title in big letters with a, you know, a big colorful background. It's not my favorite. I mean, I don't think these look awesome, but hey, they're working. So. What he's doing is working and all his videos have, you know, in the high hundreds or even thousands of views. He talks about tips for buying a new home. He has a must see um, walkthrough. There's another walkthrough. Let's see what he did for this one. These are shorter videos and they're just the walkthrough, but let's see what he does. And let's see how many views. This one has 2000. Also, because he has, he, he's able to run ads on his channel because he has um, at least 1,000 subscribers and over 4,000 watch hours. So it looks like he's got music playing in the background and he's just giving the home tour. Let's fast forward a little bit through here and let's see if he does anything special at the end. Okay, so he has his end screen set up with the next videos that he wants you to watch. And then he has, let me help you, Lance Moore, 813, da, da, da. He's got his picture there. Now, I personally don't know these people. I don't know if he's a good realtor or not. I know nothing about, I've never heard of him. I've never seen him, but obviously his channel is doing really well. So let's go to another, let's go to real estate. Del Rico, Florida. And let's see what is standing out to me. Now here is overview of Del Rico, Florida, Lance Moore. He's, he's ranking, he's got over, well, this is five years ago, so that's not really a lot, but what I wanted to notice here is that he has Valrico, Florida area overview. He's got text on top of his thumbnail to make you be drawn to it because a lot of the other videos only have the house. I particularly like this one because it has a drone view of the house and the address there. 
if you zoom in, you can see they've put um, 1511 South Miller and they have a nice big view of the house. I think that looks really nice. Um, let's see. I mean, this is a really pretty picture, but there's nothing on it except for this. It does have a good title. So it's got like the address, Valrico, Canterbury Oaks. They've done a good job in the title. The thing that I would say is lacking in a lot of these is just the um, the branding on the thumbnail to make you want to click on it. So let's dive in to Canva and let's take what we've learned from some of these people and reverse engineer and make it something that you could use for yourself. So I'm going to pretend like I am a realtor. So first of all, I'm going to show you a software or an app that I use called canva.com. They do have a free version and a paid version. I personally use the paid version. It's around $12 a month. I use it because I use Canva all the time in conjunction with Photoshop. I there's certain things I like to use Canva for and certain things I like to use Photoshop for. So I go ahead and pay for it because it saves me a lot of time to have the features that the paid version offers, such as taking away the background and doing things like that. So, and, and also all the free images that you get with the paid version is really nice. I'll leave a link below if you want to um, try Canva, you can take a look at that, but I'll put it in my um, video below on YouTube. So when you come into Canva, you're going to go right here to the home page and you're going to put in YouTube thumbnail and click on that. And then it's going to give you a bunch of ideas um, for, that they have for YouTube thumbnails. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on anyone. It doesn't matter because I'm not going to use anything that they have. I'm just going to use this as the template for the size because they have the size pre-laid out for you of what the YouTube thumbnail dimensions need to be. So what I do is I just click on that and then I delete the pictures that they have. So I'm going to go in here and just highlight and delete. Now, what I'm going to do is go into photos and search under in canvas in Canva for a photo of a house. I'm just going to get a house that I think looks nice for real estate and I will drag that over here. And then I'm going to take this and delete that. And I'm going to go into the photos that I have already uploaded and I'm going to get a picture of myself and this is going to be a little interesting. I'll show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to add a new page. So now I have this house here twice. I'll delete this and I'm going to go into my uploads and I'm going to get a picture that I uploaded of myself and I'm going to show you what I can do with that. I can go over here to effects and click on background remover and then it's going to work its magic and remove the background off my picture. Now if I'm a realtor and I want to get people excited about this house, I want to take a picture of myself with an expression like, like, oh my goodness, come see my house, you know, I want to have some kind of expression. So now it's removed the background from my picture and I'm going to then come back up here. I'm going to drag my picture on top of this house. <laughs> so there I am and I can make this a little bit smaller if I want to, but I want people to see this house. And one thing you want to be careful of is down here in the right hand corner, you don't want to really have a lot because that's where the timestamp goes in the thumbnail. If you look over here, see how the, th the timestamp is right there? You don't want to put anything right there. So let's just um, not put anything right there of my picture. Okay, next I'm going to come over here to my text and I'm going to find a really cool font and they have so many fonts in here so many different types of text so i mean i like this one because it's block it's a block style and i like how one is 
filled in and one is just outlined. So I'm just gonna click on that and look at this. I love how big that is, but I'm gonna shrink it down a little and I'm gonna say something like Tampa or we could say Valrico. Let's say Valrico. Valrico. And I'm gonna have to change the size of that font because it's way too big. And we'll come over here and we'll say it's 176 now. Let's see what it looks like at 120. Okay, Valrico and then home. And then I'll probably add another. So what I'll do is take this one right here and I'll copy, I'll highlight this and then I'm gonna say duplicate. Oh, and it copied the whole thing. So that's all right. I'm going to now remove this part. I'm gonna drag this down here and I'm gonna say for sale. And then maybe what I'll do is change the color Maybe I'll change the color of this to another color. I can click right here. Let's pick a new color, a new color. We can just kind of play with it. Ooh, I like that green. That stands out a lot. I like that. So there we go. And so what I would do is I would say Valrico home for sale. And obviously you've got the picture of the house in the background. If you want to, you can even make the picture of the house a little bit blurry behind you. Let me show you how you do that. So you go to adjust and blur. And then, oh, it's actually making, I picked the wrong picture. Hold on. I wanna make sure I've got this selected. Okay, there. You can tell that the background is selected now because it's highlighted in that outline. I'm gonna go to adjust and blur. And I can kind of play with that a little bit to make my font stand out a little bit more if I want to. I think that's a little too much. So maybe like a three. So you can still see that it's a home in the background, but my face is not blurry and my text is not blurry and it's big. And now if I shrink this down to about the size that a thumbnail might be, so let's shrink it down to about the size. So this is about the size that you would see on a YouTube thumbnail, maybe maybe even a little bit smaller. Not that much. That's about right. That's about the size. So if I was shopping for homes in Valrico, this would make me click on it because I'm seeing, okay, this looks like a really nice house. I see a person here, it looks like they're gonna talk to me and explain something and then Valrico home for sale. So that is what I would do. I would save, I would then go up here and I would change the title to Valrico. And I would click download and you can download it as a JPEG, which is a smaller file size, which is what I usually like to do. It doesn't take up as much space in your computer. And then I would pick download, well, I would pick the page I want, which is page one, and then download, and then it saves the, um, it downloads your design to whatever folder on your computer where you wanna save it. So those are the exact steps and the exact process that I use to create a thumbnail and how you can go in and reverse engineer success for your thumbnails as a realtor in Valrico, Florida. And you can do that for wherever you are. It doesn't matter if you're in Valrico, Florida or San Diego, California. In fact, let's go over here and let's type in San Diego. San Diego real estate. And I still have my same filter in place as I had before. So these are gonna be pretty recent, looks like. So this one was three days ago, 
foreclosure. It says foreclosure crisis housing bubble. He's got text right here with his picture. And if you notice, the background is blurred out. He, his face is there. He's, he's getting people to click on his video because he's got his picture there. Buying in San Diego. Look at this one. Look at this. She's looking really excited. She's got a, a house in the background. And buying in San Diego is really big. Another thing that you would probably want to keep in mind and that a lot of people recommend, a lot of successful YouTubers recommend, that you only use a maximum of four words on your thumbnail. So like buying in San Diego is perfect. No more than four words. It, that's what that way you can keep your um, that way you can keep your font big and bold and it doesn't take up the entire picture because you still want the picture of the house to be available to, to be seen in the background. So like this one right here, if I wasn't zoomed in, it's really hard to read. June 2020 San Diego market update coronavirus edition. Yes, he has his face on there, which I like, which would probably make me click, but this is really small. And if I'm on a cell phone, it's even smaller. Um, this one is not bad because he's branding himself here with the date, with his picture, and he, he does have a pretty big, bold um, font right there. This one here, warning about San Diego. It's got the picture in the background. His picture is outlined on the front. I think he's done a good job with his thumbnail. It makes you think, oh, maybe I should click. And obviously, he's gotten 7.8 thousand views on that. Five neighborhoods that are amazing. So you can see this guy. Let's look at him. It looks like he is doing a good job with his thumbnails. Let's go look at all his videos and see what he is doing if he has kind of a theme. And yes, he does. It looks like he's got, he makes, he takes like a picture of himself and then he outlines it in white and he takes away the background and he puts it on top of his video. Now that technique is something that you would need something like Photoshop to do, but you don't have to put an outline around your picture. You can see that he has over time evolved. I like to go back to people's older videos and just kind of look, what were they doing in the beginning way back? So nine years ago, he was just putting like the thumbnail that YouTube generated for him. And then there was a while, looks like, where he was shooting with a phone up and down. And these videos have like a black space behind them because he was not um, turning his phone sideways like you're supposed to. Maybe he didn't know that back then. That's okay. But now, now you can see as his videos go on, he gets better and better at his thumbnails. Like he started using his face a little bit more here, but you couldn't really see the thumbnail. It's kind of the, the typing, the text on here is kind of blurry and small. This one, he's used the picture, but again, the text is really small and it doesn't stand out very well. Now, look what he's doing. We come up here, now he's making the font big and bold and his pictures on there and everything is, it makes you want to click. All these videos make you want to click. So another thing about titling your thumbnail, it does not have to match your title of your YouTube video. So if you look right here, five things to know about San Diego. And then he has questions about San Diego, everything you need to know. Uh, and then this one says, building a dream home, a day in Encinitas Custom Homes. Should, should you live in North Park? Five reasons why. What it is like to live in North Park. Well, I love it. See how he has like a different, he has a different um, title than he does YouTube thumbnail. So you, you might want to take um, the thumbnail and shorten into like three or four words into maybe a question or something clicky um, for, for the thumbnail and then have a much longer title that could have a lot more keywords in it. So that's kind of what he's doing. So these are some ideas. This is, what, this is how you do it. 
Canva, I recommend Canva. It makes everything so much easier. Um, there's lots of things that you can do within Canva. And then once you're done with the, um, once you're done with the thumbnail, then you go into your YouTube account, which I will go take you into my back end of my YouTube account. And once you're in the back of your YouTube studio, you can click on your videos and then you can edit your thumbnail. So what you would do is once you've uploaded your video, as you're going through the process of uploading your video, you can edit. So you're going to come to a place like this. Once you are in the back end of your YouTube channel, you can come over here and click on a custom thumbnail. And this is where you would upload your custom thumbnail. You would just click on this and it would allow you to upload. Now, one thing to know, you won't be able to upload a custom thumbnail onto your YouTube channel unless your YouTube channel is verified. So you would have to get your YouTube channel verified before you can do that. And there's a whole process to getting your YouTube channel verified. And I can link to a video that can explain that to you in detail. That's not really what this video is about, but that is the only way that you'll be able to upload a custom thumbnail onto your YouTube video. Um, but anyway, that's all I've got for now. If you have any questions about this, please put them in the comments below and I will be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much for having me today. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next one. And in the meantime, go let your light shine. Break all the rules, let them run and hide. Baby, cause we're dynamite. Gonna let